The Gunner's Vault is brought to you by Big Boy Toys and Hobbies, your premier shop for all things radio controlled and more. For more information, go to bigboytoyslaf.com. To find out more about these products and services, go to acadianagunworks.com. Unfortunately, not everyone can own a machine gun like this. There's certain rules you got to live by. It sucks, but it's the truth. There's also licensing and a little bit of skill. Believe it or not, we got both. Welcome to the Gunner's Vault. Alright everybody, welcome to the Gunner's Vault. This is my good buddy Nathan Roy here. He's a cowboy. He's got a hat. I'm telling you, it's true. Horse the whole nine yards. How you doing, Nathan? All right. How you doing today? Cool, man. Cool. You brought us some pretty cool toys. Uh, this guy rides around on a horse and shoots his stuff. Balloons, but that counts. It's really cool. Y'all gonna check out the video here in a few. But first, we're gonna go over the tools of his trade. We're gonna start off with his pistols. Why don't you tell me a little about them, Nathan? Well, my pistols are Ruger Vaqueros. They're actually the bird's head grip because I have small hands and I can reach the hammer a lot better. They're a single action, so it means you have to cock it every single time. Yep. So when you're going up to speed, it's a little hard. Yeah. We've actually done some uh, work on these pistols, kind of smoothed them out a little bit here at the shop at the Katie and the Gunworks, and we were more than happy to get him to bring them in for us to check them out and work on them a little bit. We're happy about that. Uh, what do they shoot, man? Because we're not shooting live rounds out of the balloons and stuff. It's a 45 caliber blank, and when you first get them, they come like this, unfired, crimped at the end. Hmm. It's just got black powder in it, no mm -hmm. bullets, no actual metal projectile yeah. coming out, because it'd be a little too dangerous for the yeah. people and your horse. Yeah, yeah. Kill a balloon, though. Yeah. yeah might hit a few other things with that that you don't <laughs> want to hit. Yeah, yeah. That's but, cool, but, you know, with black powder, I'm sure you got to clean your guns pretty damn well. Yeah, pretty much every time after mm -hmm. you use them, you got to yeah. clean them. Yeah, and gum up the works pretty good. Yeah, you can, after, when you use them, you can tell the difference when they're dirty. They're, they stick a lot, yeah. but after you clean them up, they'll start moving real fast for you. Yeah, and that's one thing with these guns. He's got the actions tricked out so they are stupid smooth. And I mean, the regular Rugers are great. There's no doubt. They're, they're awesome guns. But these just have an action like you would not believe. They are just so smooth. And that's because, you know, he's on the horse. He's riding around. You want to just uh, get it out there, get it out there smooth and fast. And that's what these are made for. Hell of a gun right here. Hell of a gun. All right, we're at Nathan. Let's go over your little shotgun here, man. That's a cool little device. Yeah, well, I bought it. It's a used gun. Mm -hmm. Bought it. And it was the barrel was a little too long. And when you're riding on the horse, you don't want a long barrel because it'll yeah. take you forever to get out. So I brought it to y'all and had the gun cut. And, um, it was, I actually forgot we did that. <laughs> We actually, uh, it was having a little problem injecting shells mm -hmm. and stuff, and awesome job and all the gunsmithing. Can't even tell it was cut, it looks original. I gotta be honest with you, on this one, this was all Jeff Crow. He did a great job, dude knows what he's doing. This is also a nice little tricked out gun. You know, I would have cut the barrel right here, but you know, that's just me. <laughs> uh, sweet little gun, length of pull is pretty much what it started out with. That's you know, not too short, not too long. It's pretty comfortable. So uh, 45 long Colt 410. In this case, he uses the 45 long Colt uh, blanks as well. Uh, shoots black powder, just like the pistols. It's real dirty. Got to keep it up. Got to clean it really well. Uh, you'll notice on this one, double triggers, trigger for each barrel. That probably speeds up a little bit. You don't have to switch it, I'm guessing, on the yeah, safety. Yeah, and they also make them with a single trigger. Mm -hmm. They're a little on the hot side for the sport. Yeah. And, I mean, if you're only shooting every now and then, it's occasional gun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, how often do you uh, practice train on all this stuff? I try to ride my horses at least three times a week just to keep them oh. up and listening, just regular riding. Yeah. And 
we'll probably I'll probably practice every Sunday, mm -hmm. depending on the weather. And, and that's the course that you Yeah. Okay. We'll actually run full speed through the course and work on a few problems and there's always gonna be problems with your yeah. horse and their animals. There's things you need to fix with them. Yeah. Well that's cool, man. That's cool. So I imagine it's not the cheapest of hobbies when you need a horse. Yeah. <laughs> Too, you need some really nice guns. These Rugers, they're nice, but they're expensive, man. Yeah, the most, the biggest thing about the sport is mm -hmm. getting started. You yeah, need a horse, saddle, guns, mm -hmm. and holsters. Yeah, yeah. So, but once you get started, it gets a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's the thing of saving money, getting all your equipment, which I would recommend if you want to get into it. <laughs> no, that involves that horse thing. So yeah. That. If you want to get into it, go with the best guns you can get. Yeah. Because you don't want to get stuck with some that aren't up to par yeah. as these other guns. Well, that's good advice, man. I, I can definitely see that. It's, it's like that with a lot of stuff. Get the best equipment you can afford at the time. If, you know, if you continue with it and you get real good at it, hopefully, and you're already real good at it. I've seen Thanks. you do it. appreciate it. But if, you know, other people get real good at it, they can always invest more money later in something stupid expensive. Yeah. But to start off with, you know, you maybe have 500 bucks or whatever. Grab a Ruger, have it tricked out a little bit, work the action a little bit. And uh, how much do these run? About 59 cents a piece. So that's actually not too bad. And usually for a thousand rounds, it'll run you about 360 bucks. A thousand rounds. <laughs> I remember when regular ammo was that cheap. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. So that's that's not bad, man. You got a thousand blanks for three hundred bucks. You got a sweet little Ruger for five hundred. Shotguns, a few hundred bucks. Horse, million dollars. I'm thinking. Uh, if you want to buy more than that, mine they're for sale. Really? Yeah. Well, you can give me a million dollars. I'll gla I'll deliver. <laughs> it. Nah, that's all right. No, my backyard's not big enough. Yeah, I do have enough grass though, because I hate cutting grass. So. Yeah. I understand you can go ahead and use rifles in these competitions as well? Yeah, actually it's a lever action rifle mm -hmm. or you can use a revolving rifle. Oh, the wow. blanks are actually different for the rifle. The really? rifle blanks are a little bit longer. You can actually use the 45 mm -hmm. or the 4440. And just like the guns, mm -hmm. you want to buy the best rifle you can. Yeah. I made the mistake buying the 92. And the difference in the 92 compared to the 73 or 66 mm -hmm. is the way it loads. The 92 loads at an angle. The 63 and the 76. The 73 and the 66 mm -hmm. go straight up and straight in, yeah. which makes it for a lot faster actioning, rolling through the action while you're going up to speed and it won't jam on. That makes sense. See, I. I, I didn't know that you could use rifles first off, but then I was thinking, oh, you can use rifles, commonality of ammo, but you can't. No. So realistically, you can use whatever rifle you want in those two calibers yeah. because the cartridges for those rifles ain't going to fit your pistols or your shotgun anyway. And the rifle blanks are a little bit more expensive. I want to yeah. say they're about 69 cents a piece. No, they're a little too bit bad, more. Yeah. But now, will the course be the same? For the shotgun, if you had a rifle instead of a shotgun? Yes, the rifle and the shotgun mm -hmm. courses are actually the same, but mm -hmm. the difference in between them is is that with the shotgun course, mm -hmm. you have your random course, and you only have two balloons on the rundown. Oh, okay. With the rifle course, you have your random course, and you have five balloons on the rundown, mm -hmm. so you actually go through all so five shots harder. with the rifle. Well, that makes sense, because you have more ammo availability in the rifles versus the just double barrel shotgun. Yes. Yeah, okay, that would make sense. That's cool, man, that's cool. So hopefully I should be soon getting the right rifle and competing oh, nice. in rifle class. What are you looking for? Uh, probably a 73, something along Made by those who? lines. I know Taylor and Company makes one that, it's, I want to say it's called the Running Comanche. Mm -hmm. Right off the back, ready to go for mountain shooting. Taylor and Company? Mm -hmm. Taylor and Company. Hook my boy up. Give him a rifle. He he will use the hell out of it. Use it well. Trust me on that. There. Now you get a free rifle. Maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool, man. Well, this has been awesome, dude.
can't wait to get out there and actually film you doing this stuff. That's going to rock. I'm looking forward to it, too. Oh, yeah, dude. Well, thank you, man. Thanks no for bringing this stuff up. Let's go check it out, man. You're not going to get me on a horse, but I'll videotape you riding one. Uh, we can see. <laughs> All right, bud. Let's do it. Hi kids, I'm here with Nathan, our cowboy friend. He's uh, going to do a little demonstration for us today, some shooting on a horse. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, Nathan, first off, how'd you get started on all this, man? I started riding actually three years ago and just basic horse riding lessons and the person that gave me lessons was actually a Lafayette police officer hmm. and he did this and he introduced me to it on a different horse and I finally got my first horse, that paint right there and we grabbed a set of guns and started shooting off of them and luckily <laughs> he took to it. I wonder if I could do that in my car, just grab some guns, start shooting out the window. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe a little dangerous too. Yeah, maybe. Might get the cops called, but hey. I have to extend the cones out a little bit. Yeah, that'd be cool though. You'd be good if you can go 50 miles an hour and shoot five balloons. That's true, that's true. Why don't you run us through the course a little bit, man? Well, this is a shotgun course mm -hmm. and a regular main course. It serves as two different courses. Now your first shot right here would be this one right here, mm -hmm. and you'd shoot this one weak, which okay. is you have to cross over your left arm. And, and this is parts with the pistol? Yes, this okay. is pistol. Now this one right here, you would shoot it strong, keep your horse coming to this one over here. That's the part I'd have trouble with. In between these two cones, mm -hmm. shoot this one strong, make another circle, Keep, sorry about that. Keep okay. going in your circle. Shoot this one strong. This one strong. Holster your gun. And the main the main key is holster your gun. Mm -hmm. Get your horse straight because you have to kind of look back unless you can feel for that shotgun. Yeah. Pull your shotgun out. Take it off of safety. And this is a double barrel shotgun. Yes. It's not a pump. It or is a stagecoach like style gun. Yeah with two triggers. Nice. So you're gonna ride your horse to this barrel right here. Mm-hmm. You let him turn it. Drop your reins on your horse, which is pretty fun and pretty exciting. I was about to say, that's your steering wheel, so you're just gonna yeah. let him steer. You let him go and hopefully he runs straight. Now, they'll have a balloon right here. Mm -hmm. You already have your shotgun shoulder. And you always have to have two hands on your shotgun at a time. You pull your first trigger. And at this point, you're you pretty much can... trusting the horse. To yeah, the you're pretty trigger. much, he's in control and he's <laughs> taking you to where you need to go. Then your second shot is right here. And then you cross the finish line and get your time and hopefully you shot clean. So if I was a competitor, and I wanted to ruin your time. Basically, I'd stand over there with an apple or a carrot while you let go of the reins and start waving it. Uh, my horses don't like apples or carrots. Oh, man. That's cheating. I don't think they like you either. <laughs> Probably not. Personal thing. I'm not a horse guy, man. <laughs> I've seen them right there. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's the wound. It's the yeah. wound. Yeah, I'm sure. You'd be fast. You'd probably be a world record holder. Well, I'd use a machine gun. Yeah, yeah. That, that'd be cool. I'd definitely yeah. get some balloons with that. You'd definitely beat my time and take all my money from it. <laughs> You'd leave me broke. All right. Well, thank you, Nathan. This has been cool, man. This has been really cool. Thank you very You're much. I appreciate it. Awesome. Now, next time, I'm going to get you on some of my guns. Sounds good to me. Cool, dude. Well, I'm here with Jeff Crow, head gunsmith at KDN Gunworks, and another guy here on uh, the Gunner's Ball. How's it going? Today, Jeff is going to ride a horse. We're pretty excited about that because I don't think Jeff knows what he's doing. What do not, you think, Jeff? Yeah, not really. I've uh, only been on a horse a couple times, and it's been a long time. Awesome. And I basically don't know how that works. Well, so you, you I'm going to find out. Point the pointy end, and that's probably what you do. All right, check it out. This may be great. This may be like comedy gold, so stick around. We're going to check this out. Prepare yourself. <laughs> okay. 
A lot more better than I expected. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. You're a cowboy now. I don't know about that. <laughs> At least I got on it. <laughs> so how was it, man? It was really fun. Cool. Uh, well, and, you look way better at it than I would have. That's well, well, thank here. you. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not so good at steering a horse, but uh, at least I remember how to shoot a single action revolver. So that just proves that we here at the Gunner's Vault are not afraid to throw other people into the fray of what's going on. Me, I ain't doing it. I got this bad knee and you know my back and I'm old and stuff like that. Him, we're gonna rename him Super Dave. Hey Nathan, get your six guns in your rig bag. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for letting me try it, man. No All problem, your help. Man. I really appreciate it. You want to continue your career in cowboy mining shooting? Come by any day. All right, appreciate that, man. No problem at all. Have a good one. You too. Yeah, he just called I mean, you fat. <laughs> that's just true. Yeah. Trade secret? Yeah. I have to kill my Hold on. I'm talking about Scare the hell out the horse, Jeff. I don't think it's a buddy. Three legs. I'll hold it for you. The horse is all. Back on the way. Back on the way.